Well, you want a brand like IKEA that the minute they re realize they've got a job to do, this brand pops into your mind as when I have this job, this is the product that does it perfectly. I would suggest that the other thing that you want the brand to do is what you shouldn't, this, you shouldn't buy this product for. In other words, if you're planning to do long vacations with your family, uh, don't buy this car. There's something else that was designed for that product. But, so you need to have, this is kind of, you need to give it a purpose brand that tells the customer what the product is, it was designed to do and what you shouldn't hire it to do. Now, I've been trying to um, say this to answer your question about should we tell the people this is the job or should we just respond to and what's your answer to that question any more thoughts about it well hopefully we would have a brand that has a purpose that people would be drawn to yeah. but but if but that's going to include um, a liberal education it's going to include Majors that you know, that aren't that aren't, don't have a direct line to employment. And well, I mean, they're, they're not, I'm just saying like, there's a lot of issues that are wrapped up in there. And, yeah. And as, if we're clear about if a company's if an organization is clear about its purpose, but there's other alternatives, and this particular purpose, this particular brand is is uh, not well received in the marketplace, well, they're gonna they're gonna lose out, right? Yeah, let me go back, because I've done a bad job on this one. So, my, if you offer something that helps people do what they're not trying to do, it doesn't matter how, how fervently you feel, it won't work. You can only, people will only things into their lives that help them do what they're trying to do. So that's number one. Number two, sometimes they know explicitly the job that they have to get done. Sometimes it occurs to them right at the time. You know, they, they haven't thought about it a lot in advance. But in either case, once you understand the job, then it tells you what you have to include and what you shouldn't include, right? The only reason why you would add all of these experiences and everything is if you don't think that there are different jobs in your market. I Max? Want to, I want to go back to your, uh, your hotel question about why they didn't change. Because if you look back and actually look at, at higher education and, and kind of look at the kind of major shifts, uh, probably the major shift was one of the major shifts was the land grant colleges were instituted. So obviously, obviously, a lot of uh, individuals had a chance to get education. Another great big change was the GI Bill, mm -hmm. you know, because that was now a, a way that you know, have this whole influx of people that come in. Education. The next was probably the community college kind of adjustment, and yet now when you start looking back at those, and you describe this with Ohio State. You know, they, they usually try to do this evolution where they try to almost become like the top end. Yeah. It, they're almost trying to imitate that, and some do it better than others and, and, and whatever. One of my questions is, how come there isn't more differentiation almost occurring across that stratum, if you will, so that there's certain, certain institutions that specialize in a certain kind of thing? Mm -hmm. now, we know there are some, you know, uh, if you want to, go to cosmology school, that's a specialized kind of school. But for the most part, we don't have that you know, stratification. It, yeah. We just keep trying to be like the, the top part is. And so then what, what at least appears out of the chronicle of higher ed right now is the problem that the, the society is pushing back is it's now become so expensive that now you're starting to limit you know, my children and my grandchildren from having experience in here. And, and so you start to feel the tension that's occurring 
And therefore, that then raises the question, well, what's the disruption? Because there's, there's enough tension, it feels like, coming. What's the disruption that's going to come out of that? Does that make sense? Yeah. Let's, let's keep pushing this for a minute. Any comments? I, I do have an example of that. Um, so I'll give you my example and, and then bring it back to the Sitchin where all colleges try to be like all the other colleges and, and you have to replicate their cost position. And how could BYU, Hawaii be different? So we have the, a case in our course about Dollar General. Have any of you guys gone to Dollar General to buy stuff? It, it's cheap stuff, right? And so at the beginning of the discussion, I asked the students, how many of you have gone, gone to Dollar General to buy something? And the ones that grew up in Westchester County don't say they've been there, but the ones from South Carolina have all been there. And so I asked one of them, what, what job arose in your life that caused you to go to Dollar General? And very often he would say, you know, I was one of nine kids. And uh, just to have fun, we used to go to Dollar General on Monday evening. And it was like going on a treasure hunt. Because the way the business worked originally was um, every, every Monday, a, a big truck would show up filled with stuff. And what was on the, the truck was what was on extra inventory from, you know, and this was a way people could get rid of their extra stuff. And so you had to have the whole team on hand on Monday and they'd unpack the stuff and find it someplace in the store to stick it. And so when you'd emptied the truck, the store was full. And every week it was full of different stuff. And then people would come during the week and every time you came, you didn't know what was there. And it was actually kind of fun. And the, the, it was a job which was like a, a treasure hunt job. And if you didn't go to uh, Dollar General, you went to s flea markets or garage sales. And then another person would say, I went on Christmas Day when my, brother, my, my mother said, I need uh, toothpicks. And do you think Dollar General will have toothpicks? And you go there and by chance they have, happen to have toothpicks. And then somebody else said, we go there trying to find Tide at lower prices than Walmart. And so you have two, three jobs that people are trying to do. One is a, a treasure hunt. Another one is I'm in an emergency and I need something. And the, the last one was I need I know I need t Tide every month, and I just need the lowest possible price. And Dollar, Dollar General started out on the treasure hunt job. And then somebody came in and said, I need toothpicks. The last time I came here, you had toothpicks. Why don't you have toothpicks? We're out. And so the, the manager said, oh, geez, I guess we always need to have toothpicks on hand. Because in order to solve the, the emergency job, they had to change their mix in the, the store so that they could do this and that. But in order to do this, they actually had a lot less variety in the treasure hunt job. And then somebody comes in and said, you know, last time you had uh, tied at 30% lower than Walmart and you don't have Tide in on, you know, we need this every month. And so they tried to, you know, they expand to always have this on, online. And so in order to provide the jobs that all customers are trying to do, they kind of spread themselves and end up not being to do any of the jobs well. 
So by listening to their customers and giving every customer what they need, it turns out that you don't do any of the jobs well, and it just becomes a one-size-fits-none milkshake kind of a product. And I think that's what the, the universities have done, is they, in, in trying to replicate the, the highest tier, and then every customer who wants in something else, they expand, and, and as a result, they, uh, they can't differentiate themselves. Now, what should to um, Dollar General do Probably what they should have done is if they stayed with the department, uh, the treasure hunt, they're competing against uh, flea markets and, and grad, gr garage shows. And, and you got to beat them better at that game. If you want to be in the emergency game, you ought to buy 7-Eleven or have, have a business that can compete against convenience stores in 7-Eleven. And if you want to be a low cost of standard products, you'd buy Aldi, which just, you know. And if they have three fundamentally different business units, each of which is organized in this way, they would make so much more money and, and, have an, and th they would have to give each one a different name. They could put well, Walmart, uh, Dollar General somewhere in the corner, but they need to have a name that would pop into their head when they have the job to do. Yes? Mm -hmm. And those people say, if you want to have jobs, this is the product that you must have, mm -hmm. whether you want it or not. Yes. Can add on to that? Traditionally, I thought of universities as a place where the market is diffused, that one of the customers has been, at, at least since the 1950s, the federal government, saying we want to create a strong citizenry and people who can sustain democracy. And so, and based somewhat on the Enlightenment, we're going to have these categories of study. And it's worth it to us, even though we can't see dollar signs after it, to have these subjects taught, because in the long run, we'll have a citizenry mm -hmm. who, that will sustain a democracy. So I was interested in hearing that, that for a while, you thought that the universities, that this... Um, that the universities might not be challenged in the technology. And, and part of what I was wondering if was it was also that the customer was someone who wasn't as interested in the market mm -hmm. forces mm -hmm. or dollar signs as much. And if there's maybe a confluence here of where it's not just technology, but the customer itself is changing where perhaps the dollar signs are becoming more important, say, to the government and negating also that earlier value that had been seen as important even though there weren't dollar signs with it. And that's not just technology, but that when you're saying, hey, what's the job to be done, one, maybe perhaps one of our major customers is changing also. Mm -hmm. Thinking back off of that, I think this bears irrelevance to what you were talking about in the emotional this afternoon morning. In that we have a lot more in common with the church as an institution that is providing a service to a customer than perhaps to McDonald's. Uh -huh. In that what people were looking for from religion a hundred years ago, and in fact many of these institutions were started by religious organizations, they were trying to address the same need. And somewhere along the line, we've, we've taken on this, this business approach and perhaps we need to sit back and say, well, why do people need an education? Why do people want an education? What questions do they still have? Are they looking for opportunities for service perhaps? 
and saying, I can get together with some like-minded, like-skilled people and go out and build up a community. And that might be an opportunity uh, that higher education has a place to fulfill. Because it, it is. I think the market is changing. Uh, I think it is. So I just, I would challenge you is that before we started to think about this, my instinct was to think about the unit as the customer, as a, 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 the, the student are my customers, the, the government might be my customers, my uh, alumni are customers, the faculty are customers. But rather not, not thinking at that level, but try to think about are there three or, th three or four jobs out there? Is the job exists independently of products that are pr 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 uh, sold to get that job done. And instead of thinking about the products, think about the job. And then look at what would a college look like to get that particular job done? And it might the reason I, I offer it to you is that what appears to be, um, let's say conflict, but um, paradoxes that you can't quite disentangle become very clear if you say there are four jobs out there and we're going to do three of them but it actually means we need to have three colleges within a, a university. But they're not organized by product category, but they're organized by providing the experiences to get the jobs done. I think I have a hard time with these because when I look at the job, I see two parts. There's the what part, and then there's the how part. Mm -hmm. And we are just talking about the what part. But if we would talk about the how part, we would know that there are preferences, how people do the work. Mm -hmm. There's also a way that an organization or employer sees or supervisor how the job should be done. And I can see that there's a stress. There becomes personal stress and there becomes organizational stress, depending how that is seen. Mm -hmm. What do you if you talk a little bit more about the how part. Yeah. So I would say you cannot think about the how part unless you figure this out first. Because that then will lead you here. This is what, do we exp what are we going to deliver to the customer? And let's think about that for now as the student. And once we've got to do that, then this is where the how part comes in. And the way you do that um, would differ depending on the job that we're organized to get done. So if, if the job relates to I need to be on campus, I have social experiences, I have spiritual experiences I've got to enjoy, the way you do that work is very different than somebody who says, I got to have a certificate and I can't come to campus. Yes. You talked about uh, designing a car for a use, a vehicle. Why don't they? I mean, if that's so logical, why aren't they reorganizing the way they... It's because they are... General Motors is organized exactly like universities are organized. Somebody back there said these are two fields, and so we teach them separately. And somebody... God didn't say calculus and chemistry are two different fields. Somebody did, and so we teach them independently. But if you looked at it from a job-to-be-done point of view, you actually might integrate these things in a totally different way. But you can't do it because you've got departments of this and that. You know, and, and so that's why getting there is so hard. I think you guys are just in a really...